there's a lot of problems on the platform that you're currently watching this on. But one that strikes me the most is the current theft that's rampant on here. The problem I'm going to be talking about today is something that was brought up on Twitter and XQC and Hassan were the main people that were talked about on the subject. This all started with tweets talking about XQC and Hassan, two very popular streamers for whatever reason. These tweets were showing screenshots of their reaction video to an hour and a half long video made by Lamino. At least that's how I think you say it. And XQC's video, quote quote, reacting to the video, only added 15 minutes onto his reaction video. So that basically means that he paused enough times in an hour and a half long video to only add 15 extra minutes of commentary unless he was just talking over the video. The tweet that kicked off the drama came from Bubs Games, who I highly recommend. He does Gmod trolling videos, but has also exposed weirdos in the Gmod community. Again, you should definitely check him out, and he will possibly be linked in the description below. But to go on, his tweet is a screenshot of XQC's quote quote reaction video, and Bubs Games adds onto it saying, Lamino spends months researching, scripting, and editing a video just for React streamers to upload the entire thing and provide zero input. The other tweet I'm going to add on here before we go any further is one from Dolan Dark, as he replied saying, I actually enjoy his commentary. These were some of my favorite moments. Being an obvious joke, as he shows multiple times, where XQC was just eating and even left the room during this video. Again, a video uploaded onto YouTube, no cuts at all. Not a single bit of editing. What really gets XQC's attention though in this whole thing is some ordinary gamer's quote tweet from Bubs Games tweet saying, Just a shame garbage like this fills the recommendations tab. XQC responds saying, I wonder what triggers people like you the most. Revenue share? Audience split algorithm? I've heard this complaint a million times and most public figures try to attack it from multiple angles just to fall flat on their face. I'm watching a vid I like to my people, that's it. A fan of XQC's reply saying, I'm a fan of the React videos, but it feels completely unfair. The original video's provider needs to get a portion of the income from your React videos, a 50-50 or more for him. XQC responds with, They can claim the whole effing thing, and they do a lot of times. I swear you guys make stuff up for the heck of it. My stuff gets re-uploaded for the YouTube frogs that miss the stream. Give me contradictory analysis or facts. Anything else is Z, 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 Z. I wonder what he means by YouTube frogs. I've never heard of this, but it sounds like a insult to fans who don't or didn't get to watch his streams. Sorry not everyone can sit there on their computer or phone for 8 hours and watch you eat, leave your room, speak gibberish, and steal. From what I've seen and what you'll see later, XQC uses a lot of Reddit terms or language in his vocabulary, which to me makes you look weird, especially using it on a topic like this in a serious discussion. In saying anything else is ZZZ sounds like something straight out of Fortune. To go on, this becomes a very long multi-paragraph Twitter argument between some ordinary gamers and XQC. Hassan is not in this at all anymore, as I don't think he ever responded to a single thing, and if he did recently, it's just an invalid opinion, and it's as simple as that. Also, you want to know who else has done this before, content exactly like this, Pyrocynical, which we'll get to later. Which we'll get to later. But yes, yeah, sadly, I don't get to dunk on Hassan anymore for the rest of the video, as this is now going to be focused mainly on XQC and some ordinary gamers. So now I'm going to read the whole back and forth Twitter argument. Some ordinary gamers responds to the I wonder what triggers you people tweet with, I know you're not the brightest, but I didn't expect you to be this intellectually dishonest. Nothing inherently is triggering when you come on a different platform. It's copy the same metadata to further cannibalize. I get it. It depends on the creator whose content you're freebooting. But in your own words, just now you claim that you were just sharing the video with, with your fans. No intention to critique or transform it into, for fair use purposes. We demonize individuals like Jinx back in 2017. If you don't know, Jinx was a YouTuber back in the 20-teens era 
that would post multiple reaction videos that were so bad and actually broke like YouTube's whole terms of service on this. I don't really get into this in the video, but there is possible legal trouble he can get into with this XQC I'm talking about here. I'm pretty sure there is parts in YouTube's terms of service that talks about stealing videos like exactly how he's doing. But yes, to kind of explain who Jinx is, he was a reaction YouTuber back in the 20 teens era who added little to no commentary to the videos he watched. Now continuing with the tweet, in large we do as well today. This type of content is even frowned upon by YouTube in a large or any web page as repetitive and duplicate content. YouTube will often change its algorithm to fight algorithm abusive content like this. Example, reply era, initial reactions in 2017 era. I know you've watched The Dark Knight and animes like Hunter x Hunter, why not re-upload those as well? You also realize claiming content isn't a task any creator can just do. It requires a access to elevated content management systems only the larger studios and media groups have. Educate yourself. XUC responds with a huge essay saying, Dang. I knew you liked using big words so that people would never give your takes more importance, but filling your unfounded criticism full of personal attacks and using anecdotal evidence to prove that the content is cannibalistic. By nature, I get it now. It's all for show. You have no substance. I guess it makes sense that you're upset everyone is reacting to actual good content instead of whatever you post, which is contradicting as XQC has reacted to on stream some of Mudahar's videos. But to go on, he says, Little Brother used a 2017 example twice and tried to cash in his win early. This might get you Twitter drone <clears throat> this might get you Twitter drone likes, but you know how this works initially. You have the stats to back it up. You didn't use any because you know how it will show the exact opposite of the phenomenon. Also, I talked to most of the YouTubers I take big content pieces from to react to. Maybe send Daily Dose of Internet a call and compare numbers on upload slash reacts. I'm on the defense, so I'll let you pull up some stats up. After all, I'm the dumb one, right? Until then, keep molding, little brother. We all know why you posted that tweet in the first place. Insecurity is a effing B word, ain't it? Bites when you least expect it. It makes you look weak. Also, don't make a money argument type. I'm probably the one that cares least about residual YouTube ad rev. It compares of maybe 1% of my total income. I do it to please my community. You already know this anyway. You just keep pretending you don't. Now write another essay to farm some impressions. Maybe you can generate enough Twitter rev to shut the F up next time you wake up and feel like being a weak A soy boy. Take care. After reading that, I don't really know what he's trying to get at a little bit. Some of the stuff he was saying didn't make sense, and sometimes it seemed a bit filler, which I guess is what he's used to. Some ordinary gamer said, No one brought up income as an example, except your insecure A, LMAO. We talked about impressions on the platform being cannibalized. Did your team reach out to mine when you reacted to some of my content as well? Seems not so. You can't be using the fact that you communicated to one creator as an example. Impressions are cannibalized, as they tend to take up a finite space, in the recommendations engine that will consistently show you the streamer over the original piece. As the account matures, you can watch Jack films on the subject. This platform is important to me for the rest of the friends I have on it, so yeah, I get a bit passionate about the subject. Stop deflecting and saying this is for impressions farming on Twitter. My account makes plenty of impressions without this topic anyways. This is the last time I'm going to announce who actually tweets. Uh, you can see on the screen or just basically know who's actually talking if you're not watching. XQC responds saying, watch time from impressions equals ads equals money. He tried it. Bro tried to pretend he makes uploads out of the kindness of his heart. Get yo A to bed, bro. You look stupid. What is the point you're responding to? We're talking about cannibalizing impressions. We know impressions lead to ad return. So you're essentially saying you care about impressions and not about the money it comes with. Gotcha. I'm out of arguments on this one. You are a god. I'm saying impressions lead to a long-term organic channel growth that gets cannibalized when it has to compete with itself as reaction content flooding the algorithms. Obviously everyone does this for some monetary benefit, but what's more important in the long term is the growth of the channels, which does appear to be hampered with the influx of reactive content, that's all. That's the end of the argument, basically. Somewhere in Airy Gamers is talking more about the algorithm and helping out the channels and saying it hurts the original content creator more than just money-wise. 
as well saying that it hurts YouTube. Muda knows a lot about Muda knows a lot of info about stuff like this. He's really smart and knows a lot about the type of stuff he is talking about here. And let's be honest, XQC's whole argument is just really bad and really weak, coming off as overly aggressive and using a very weirdo vocabulary, especially when you gotta know you're in the wrong. He didn't really have an argument on why it's okay, nothing strong at least, and most people that are okay with this type of stealing have a very easy to debunk reason as to why stealing is okay. Now, what ended up happening after the Twitter war between each other, XQC and some ordinary gamers, they ended up making videos. Uh, one video was from some ordinary gamers. He did a video just talking about how, talking going more into detail about what he was talking about on Twitter, and also re read some of the back and forth between each other. And XQC proceeds to react for 50 minutes to two videos, one from Ludwig and one from a guy who can't control his emotions. And <laughs> it just seems like such a meme to respond to basically being called out for stealing content just by stealing more content. Now, don't get me wrong. I've not watched the video. I don't know if he leaves the room, if he actually hired an editor to cut the quote-unquote reaction videos up or anything. Uh, but you can already assume that he's probably still just doing the same thing, especially with his reaction and his response to some ordinary gamers. And it just seems like a complete meme. Now, don't get me wrong, the only reason that I think this reaction video, out of all the other ones he has posted, uh, is probably valid is because, you know, he's probably stopping a bunch to speak incoherent language and then press play again, trying to basically respond to what these all these people have to say. Now, what ended up happening after the Twitter war between each other, XQC and some ordinary gamers, they ended up making videos. Uh, one video was from some ordinary gamers. He did a video just talking about how, talking going more into detail about what he was talking about on Twitter, and also re read some of the back and forth between each other. And XQC proceeds to react for 50 minutes to two videos, one from Ludwig and one from a guy who can't control his emotions. And <laughs> it just seems like such a meme to respond to basically being called out for stealing content just by stealing more content. Now, don't get me wrong. I've not watched the video. I don't know if he leaves the room, if he actually hired an editor to cut the quote-unquote reaction videos up or anything. Uh, but you can already assume that he's probably still just doing the same thing, especially with his reaction and his response to some ordinary gamers. And it just seems like a complete meme. Now, don't get me wrong, the only reason that I think this reaction video, out of all the other ones he has posted, uh, is probably valid is because, you know, he's probably stopping a bunch to speak incoherent language and then press play again, trying to basically respond to what these all these people have to say. Ever since he's been called out, he's uploaded 13 videos onto his main channel, and one, two, three of those videos are non-reaction videos. The rest of them, the other 10, are reaction videos, getting tens of thousands of views. Ever since he's been called out, he's uploaded 13 videos onto his main channel, and one, two, three of those videos are non-reaction videos. The rest of them, the other 10, are reaction videos, getting tens of thousands of views. But yeah, it just seems like a total meme that he just responds by reacting to more videos. Sadly, this is what a lot of streamers do. They leave to go use the bathroom, get food. If it was me, I would be doing a one-man wrestling match every hour. But to go on, they'll leave the videos running that they were watching. Some people have a I'll be back or something of the sort screen that they use or pop up in some of these situations, but these other people just rely on other people's content for entertainment of their own stream. I get needing to step out for 10 minutes or just in general, but you shouldn't just play another creator's work in that time. Become creative and find your own way to make breaks entertaining. That's another thing too, is that a lot of streamers can't make these breaks entertaining. And that's why a lot of this kind of content happens is because XQC and all these other streamers that do it want to keep their viewers around. And usually once a streamer leaves their setup, their viewer count goes down a bit. Basically, it depends on how big you are. Sometimes it goes by thousands, hundreds, or whatnot. Neo Explains is a victim of this theft. He tweeted this saying, This video shows XQC, quote quote, reacting to my video. He leaves the room five seconds into the video and then returns ten minutes later, making a mockery out of the fact that he's not reacting. And here's the clip that's attached to this tweet. 
What you are looking at is considered the most densely populated place that ever existed. On an area of just 6.5 acres, or four football fields, dozens of individual buildings have merged into allowed various work do not pose this to youtube for the lack of react for the lack of react boom Mutahar metal pipes Mutahar cement football go out the back Mutahar. wait a minute chat wait a minute chat hold up i think this is a this is a very rare copper alloy right there chat somebody chat pull hey chat give me a zoom in on this and zoom, zoom a full infrastructural review of the material used in the building of this city right now Boom! This, this is a deep dive and expert view in city building and architecture. Come on! Come on! Boom boom! Chat, guys, guys, I had... Chat finds this funny? Bro, I'm... Relax, man. Bro, relax. I, I'm... Dude, chill out. It's lighthearted. Okay? Um... I... I... I had to go to the bathroom. Okay? And then I... I will be posting this then, to YouTube right now. Shame on you. And then I took a phone call. Okay? And then I got some water. Okay? Now I feel really good. And I'm ready. Also... XQC knows he's in the wrong without a doubt, unless he is completely blind to say it in the most friendly way possible. The comments he made in the clip are just very poor and ignorant. I guess where he has so much money and where he's so big on all of his platforms, he doesn't understand how what he's doing is bad at all. And I think what matters most is that the original creator of the video gets their money, and if streamers are going to try to go around this some way, somehow, because this is what they all will do, if there's ever a law or rule implemented, they're going to try their best to go around it by maybe using filters, or maybe uh, overreacting, or something of the sort, trying to act like they aren't just reacting to the content. To stop this, there should be a number, whatever the original creator of the video wants, that's a worthy amount, and charge the streamer for reacting to their video on stream. Then, if they proceed to upload that reaction video, the original creator gets to copyright claim it. These streamers literally get $100 million deals and contracts just to stream on certain platforms, and then on top of that, they have collaborations with places like G Fuel, clothing brands, and all the other sorts. YouTubers charging 10 k for their video to play on stream is not hurting the streamer's wallet at all. Punch made Dev, a scammer who rapped about what he does, admit to taking 10 k at a time often out of Aiden Ross's bank account. Because he has so much money moving everywhere, it's hard for him to notice 10k being gone. So did you really scam Aiden Ross? Did I really scam Aiden Ross? Of course. He's an easy target. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's loose. He moves loose. He doesn't use VPN. All he gets swatted every day. He's a rookie. He's an easy target. If I scam Aiden Ross, what gonna do? I've been sitting in Aiden Ross's bank account for about two months now, just watching his transactions go in and out. I'm sitting there just waiting for the right moment to clear it. But right now, I'm just doing like wiring out small amounts, about like 10k a day. And I've seen him get paid from Kick. I've seen that big, the big check that he got deposited. I've seen that. Couple million dollars, hundreds of millions. So you don't think he'll ever notice? When he does so many transactions a day, you gotta think he's paying for like five apart, five properties. He's paying for security. He's paying for his cars. What's the little 10,000 I'm taking him from him every day? He's not going to notice. Personally, if someone did my videos the way Neo and Lamino got done, I would contact a lawyer or YouTube to get this situated, especially if they're financially gaining from this, which, you know, hundreds of thousands of views, they're definitely getting something out of it. Because my videos, along with the other content creators, take a long time and dedication to basically be done as a whole. Sometimes my videos literally take days just to be done. Again, this is complete theft what he's doing. Hopefully YouTube and the internet as a whole put a law or something where these two things can happen. Charging streamers that react to their content and getting content creators a easier process to copyright claim videos. It should hopefully just take like an email or a tweet to YouTube to get stuff like this situated. Sadly, a lot of people, and especially this was what music companies do, music companies basically do this if you just use 10 seconds of someone's song. There's literally that whole rule where you have to use 10 seconds or less of a song, or your whole video, no matter how long it is, gets copyright claimed. So if these music companies and these artists can take away a whole video just because of 10 seconds of their song being used, then YouTubers who have their whole video took, like XQC did to Lamino, should 
basically be able to take the whole video's ad revenue, just like these music companies take the whole ad revenue from a video using a small portion of their song. Also, I know some people are going to be asking, what about these small streamers? Maybe we can just do the charging fee to big streamers, as they're the ones with big contracts and all the money coming in. To be honest, I know that there's probably lawmakers and stuff that could think of pretty good ways to go through with this. Because in this process, I wouldn't want these smaller content creators to get screwed. Don't get me wrong, I don't want them to steal either, but I don't also want them to get screwed over in this situation. One big issue here is that YouTube uses too many bots to review content, and this could be easily abused, as the copyright striking system has been abused before. But with trial and error, learning from past mistakes like with bots before with the whole DMCA stuff, as well as just hiring people to go over certain stuff like this for actual human reviews, so no channels are having to stress over this because a bot just won't listen correctly, as well as just hiring more people to go through that review process that can basically fix some of the big issues. Also, this isn't the first time XQC has done something like this, as he and other streamers have illegally streamed anime and other things like movies on their Twitch streams. So, he has a history of just stealing content. But of course, watching the anime and movies, he can't re-upload. And to be honest, I can't remember the last time a clip of XQC came out where he wasn't reacting to something. Before people get like, you know, people are gonna probably try to think of like, oh, what about them watching the YouTube shorts or whatever? I'm just mainly talking about the extreme cases, like what XQC does and so do all the other YouTubers and streamers whenever they watch or react to these hour plus long videos. I'm talking more about the extreme situations. Now don't get me wrong, I think maybe like maybe smaller videos depending on how bad it is, you should be able to copyright claim them as well. But like I'm not talking about like okay the streamer is just showing a video to the chat really quick and they have like a good little laugh or they're showing a clip of a video. I'm talking about if they fully react to a video and it's the whole purpose is just to sit there and watch that whole entire video uh, to react to it and not really to be like, oh, chat, look at this. I thought this was really funny. You know what I mean? Like there's certain cases where, you know, it shouldn't really be an issue and you shouldn't really copyright claim a YouTuber over it. Especially or you shouldn't really charge a YouTuber like I was talking about earlier. But I feel like in some cases, like, you know, maybe even if it is a 10 minute or 15 minute video, if they don't do enough, then they should definitely, or even if they don't, or even if they do a lot, still should be able to copyright claim them. But I don't know. I could always, you know, think of a better way and a better solution. But at the time, that's really my best thought. Personally, I immediately thought of the money when seeing this drama, because XQC gets hundreds of thousands of views just from stealing other people's content, and that's thousands of dollars stolen from the original creators. The last time Lamino uploaded, before his most recent video, was around a year ago. He doesn't upload often, even if the video now has 5 million views, I think he is still entitled to that money XQC and Hassan got from the video. And if people re-upload the streams like XQC complained about, then those videos should be copyright claimed by the original creator. Simple. And sadly, like some ordinary gamers said, not everyone can copyright claim a video. Now before people get confused, copyright claiming a video means that you get all the money from it. So say XQC uploads a reaction to one of my videos, and I copyright claim that video. The video stays monetized and gets ads, but all the ad revenue from that video I copyright claimed goes directly to me. Copyright striking a video is taking down a video, which leads to channels getting strikes, deleted, and you can even go to court if you want to fight DMCA takedowns. There's been problems with DMCA takedowns in the past. One of the main reasons was due to YouTube letting anyone take down videos from other content creators. Most of the time, people who had videos made about them that they didn't like because they were in a negative view of them, they would copyright strike the video. When you're dealing with takedowns like this and you want to fight them, you have to give your personal information for whatever reason. Some people would do DMCA takedowns on people's channels and videos just to try to dox the YouTuber or get the video took down, or just to simply shut down the channel as a whole and silence them. Because I think you have to put your address and your government name. From what I know, those people that copyright striked your video basically get to see that information such as your government name and your address and a lot of people don't want to put that out there and don't want those people to know i don't really know how it works now but that was back in the past maybe you still have to do this but for a while now i've not really heard anything 
the last time I heard about someone abusing the copyright strike system was probably a person that Bubs Games uh, talked about or Nikocado Avocado as he, I think, took down a channel or about did because he, like, copyright striked a bunch of videos. But to go on, XQC basically said before he doesn't even care about the YouTube money and that it's only 1% of his income. Then why post the videos? Really? If I was streaming, I wouldn't want to repost a reaction video. I'd rather post a video montage of all the funny or cool stuff that happened in stream, like how Summit 1G and Dr. Disrespect does. You know, you could just play a video game or go outside, talk to friends and make original content, besides having to steal. These videos of you watching stuff and eating, adding nothing really to the video, seem like a very slimy, snaky, and soulless move. I don't see how people watch that type of content as it just seems very soulless as well. He doesn't even get an editor to cut when he's gone from his chair or anything. You're not just stealing money and views and basically their whole work. You're also stealing the money from them and possibly their family and even in some cases the team that works on the videos, if they have one. You're hurting a lot of people here, and if you truly don't care at all about the YouTube ad revenue, then rightfully give the original creators all the money from the, for their separate videos, and as well as continue giving them the money that you make from that video. Because that video stays up forever, unless it gets took down for whatever reason, that video of him reacting just stays on the channel, and that is continuously making money monthly. So the person you stole the content from, basically should be continuously getting a paycheck from you once a month because of the ad revenue you received from it. Some people, or probably a lot, are saying or thinking, but these guys are big streamers. Don't the shoutouts really help the creator? Answer that question of yours to the people who are thinking or typing it. My response is this tweet from Bo Blacks, which says, XQC gave Mew Kitty so much extra ex exposure that she got an additional 10k views in the two weeks since XQC uploaded his 333,000 viewed reaction video. What a great guy. So as you see there, basically no. The shoutouts that XQC is giving are just not really anything at all. It doesn't really help the creator at all. And XUC gets to keep that 330,000 viewed video ad revenue. This also hurts the creator, as why would anyone want to go watch the video they already watched XQC react to on stream or the re-upload on your YouTube channel? And if XQC re keeps reacting to a certain person's uploads, then there's no reason for the viewer of XQC to go watch that person's content on that person's channel. This was also talked about by Mudahar before, as YouTube talks about this in some pages, that this would count as duplicated content. So, in the end, you can be in trouble with YouTube and legally for what you're doing. But to end this off, you can already guess and know how I feel about this. As a content creator myself, I thought this was very important to talk about, and I don't know if this is even ever going to get fixed, but I sure hope it does. The original content creator deserves the whole video's ad revenue. That even, in ca that even counts later in the future, whenever the video continuously gets more views and gathers up more money monthly. And this type of reacting is theft. XQC is stealing content and stealing videos. XQC truly does need to be put in legal trouble for this so he can be an example to these other big streamers to not be lazy. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Bigger projects are on the way. I just really want to talk about this. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And in the end, I'm Park 30 and... In conclusion, is the perfect example of what Zero Pussy does to a motherfucker. So all we do is never react, right? Whatever. And you know what, chat? You want to you want to tell me you want to tell, you want to tell how it is? It's crazy just seeing all the streamers and all the YouTubers. You can add a word saying, "Well, um, look at X and this guy. Look, they're doing this, and then, well, I I do um this, and I do that." The varying degrees are irrelevant. The varying degrees, are, it's all the, so tight in the same spot, of low effort. X they don't get it. Every is calling out C all of L this. L underscore. The, the varying degrees are irrelevant. Nobody gets but they pretend to care because it's an easier argument to push on social media to get backing from people. It makes them look like they're they're. It, 
it, it's easier for them for for for, for, uh, for people to, 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 to digest. And you know what, dude? I'm calling it out. Ludwig does that, and Hassan does that, and Asman doesn't pretend to be pure. You. It always, it's always Okay. Yeah, I'm jumping up over there. What do you want to do for them, man? I want to go with the opposite.